Hi, this is Chef Diana Prince. I am the model chef, Diana Prince, and on today's show, I'm going to cook fajitas, and it just sounds so simple to say I'm cooking fajitas, but there's going to be a lot involved, and I want to hurry up because I got all four burners working. First, we are definitely going to cook some rice pilaf. I have already taken my beef stir fry and soaked it in soy sauce, and, and just some really cheap, simple, um, spicy steaks seasoning. I'm going to add some brown sugar to the meat to make it sweet. And I have two cans of pork and beans over here boiling. Nice. I'm going to turn those down because you know it doesn't take long. And I have all my burners ready to do everything that I want to do here. I put some extra virgin olive oil in my skillet that I'm going to take my celery my jalapenos I love, my onions, and my mushrooms, and I'm going to saute them in some um, olive oil, um, black pepper, and garlic and parsley. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then I am going to start cooking the meat. And then we're going to take some flour tortillas, we're going to take some cheese, we might even take some avocado. So I say we get started, Can see what I'm doing here. My cameraman is MIA currently. Let's see, where should where, where do I start? Where do I start? So I wanna every segment's gotta be. So I'll just start with the butter that I need to add to for my rice. It's very simple because it's rice aroni. So you just go with the what's on the box. And I'm probably gonna have to turn my <laughs> burner down and my fan on here. On high. I think at my old my old house my husband disabled our fire alarm. I know somebody's saying that's not safe. But sometimes you know when you're cooking with bacon or you're frying. So we're gonna let this brown and if you read the, the directions on the box you're gonna add water to it at the very end and add the seasoning and then cover it up. So right now what it's doing is just going to brown a little bit and saute on its own. I'm definitely going to turn this burner down because I have other things that I have to do right now that are waiting and all of these are just hot. All these burners are burning up here. So the next one which has the, the virgin olive oil on it, I'm going to take some garlic salt with parsley and put it right on here. Y'all can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take the vegetables and put them all on there. I think that they're going to fit. It's a lot of onions, though. A lot of onions are here, so let's put them right on there. Don't worry about separating the onion later. Got it smoky in here. Somebody either knows what they're doing or they don't. So we're going to go ahead and let those get in the olive oil and the garlic and parsley and just let them do their thing. Everything right here has such gorgeous flavor. The celery, everything later is going to be so good. I wanted to cook them on their own. So now we're going to do, we're going to go over, show you where I'm at here with the rice and my lovely vegetables that I would have loved to put on here. But I'm kind of pressed for time right now. So now we're going to go down to the skillet. Let's see if I can get a good position here. Let's just stay on that one. Oh, I can't, and I cannot forget my mushrooms here. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll cook my mushrooms with my, with my meat. Put the mushrooms on there. basically ready for the water. And the ground just a little bit. These can cook as long as you want. I'm going to go ahead and very quickly add my brown sugar. Like less than a handful of my handful to each bowl of meat. And then I'm going to mix it right here. And I'm not even going to mix it that well because everything will mix together. So we can put that in there. First bowl. You can see the brown sugar is still on top and I just kind of mix it 
because there's a lot of soy sauce in here and a lot of chili uh, peppers, so it's going to be sweet and spicy. And it looks like a lot of meat, but it is going to shrink up, but it has been marinating, so I'm happy. But I put the mushrooms in there, and yes, I am using my hand and my, for my final act outside of um, stirring these, these beans over here and turning them off. See the, the condensation the water coming right from the pot is I'm going to add my water. And I'm using tap water because I'm cooking with it. So I'm going to turn my back burner up so we can get this ready to boil. And I guess I'll wait on that. So we should be approaching the 10 minute mark here and I'm going to turn this off and then since my cameraman, aka my husband, is going to be ready to help me film, we'll come back and do another segment of everything that I've done here. But this meat looks gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Move those guys around a little bit. Separate it. The onion. Lots of onion. There's my peppers and my celery and my onion and yeah, there's mushrooms inside of there that's just going to get that flavor of that um, brown sugar and the soy sauce. And then there's my rice on the back burner waiting. I just turned it up for the water. I think I'll, this is a glass. I think I don't know. I'll add a little bit more. Again, I don't really do that much measuring unless, I'm, unless I have to. So we're going to let that get to a boil and add the, the packet that goes with that. It's just simple rice pilaf. And then we will come back and I'll show you the rest of what I'm doing with these fajitas.